What's up legends? My name is Quake V and welcome back to the mastering series where I teach you everything and anything about the Apex Legends ranked mode. Today we're we'll be going over crypto and the best way to use him in ranked. So if you guys are hyped for that, make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you are new here, consider subscribing because we make Apex Legends content every week. But without further ado guys, let's get right into it. Now guys, for this video, I did reach out to a friend who is Predator ranked and has a lot more experience on crypto than me. So his tips are also gonna be in this video. If you guys wanna go check him out, definitely go drop a follow on his Twitch channel. He plays controller on PC and plays a lot of different characters, including crypto. So you guys should definitely go check him out. The link to that will be in the description, along with my Twitch channel. If you do wanna check me out on Twitch, I'll also leave my link in the description as well. Now, crypto overall is a more passive character. He is what you could call a support in Apex legends his drone provides recon for himself and his team and his emp makes it a lot easier for your team and yourself to wipe teams so he is definitely what you would call a support character he doesn't have mobility and his hitbox isn't all that small so him playing very aggressively using usually is not the best idea so now let's get into how to use crypto effectively in ranked All right, guys, so Crypto's playstyle is very passive. And just like other characters who don't have mobility and usually have this more passive playstyle, they're much harder to play. Other characters like Wraith and Pathfinder, if they're out of position, they can simply use their tactical abilities in order to get them out of that situation, which works 8 out of 10 times. Crypto, on the other hand, like other legends, kind of like Bloodhound, who don't have this you know immediate mobility tool to get them out of situations that they are out of position, can get punished if he's even in the slightest bit out of position. So you have to make sure with crypto that you're always thinking about your position towards your team and if you're in position at all times in a fight. Now, one good rule of thumb when you are positioning for gunfights, so when you take fights, and keep in mind this is super important, so when you go into a fight, you should always start behind your two teammates. You, want, you don't want to be the person who's focused first. You always want to leave that to your Wraith or a character that just has better mobility that can take some shots, get someone low, and then back out of the fight without dying. Don't be in front. Your job after that, after that character has either gotten someone low or gotten a knock and then backed out in order to heal, that is when you can follow up on their low call or cracked call. So for instance, if your Wraith was to go in into a fight and say, hey, I cracked this person's shield, but I have to back out, that's when you can come into the fight once you're you know, usually standing back with a longer range weapon trying to put some poke damage in and finish off that person that he just said was low with your other teammate. This is the most effective playstyle on Crypto. All right, so now that you guys know about Crypto's playstyle and how you should be engaging with him in fights and your overall playstyle that you are support that you should be playing more passively, let's get into each of Crypto's abilities and how you should be using them effectively in ranked. Now, Crypto's drone right now is slightly underpowered. The reason it's slightly underpowered is because it's very easy to see and very easy to kill. But if it does get a couple buffs, it could easily be one of the strongest abilities in the entire game. But let's go over how you can use this drone and the multiple ways you can use the drone in order to provide information for your team. Now, guys, if you want to keep your drone alive, you want to make sure that your movement with your drone is either making it hard to see or hard to shoot at. Now, if you guys don't know, if you move it in the same direction you'll go at the fastest possible speed with your drone but you are moving in one direction so you do want to kind of mix that up every now and then but you don't want to keep moving to the left and to the right because it'll slow down your drone drastically and you won't be going at that fast speed i also recommend when you are trying to fly your drone past enemies to just fly it across the ground it does make it harder to shoot at and harder to see by other enemies keep in mind that you can pick up your teammates death banners with this drone which is very very useful and honestly one of the most useful things about crypto in rank so if your team does get wiped you can run away wait a couple seconds for the enemy team to loot up and then run away and then throw in your drone and get their banners now it's very important that you wait a little bit because most likely if it is a good team they will know that you're trying to get that crypto drone in there and grab their banner so you want to wait a little bit for them to kind of scurry away and then throw your drone in um, once you're in a safe spot away from that team grab your teammates banners and run to a res ship furthermore when looking at a banner you can also see how many teams are in a 200 meter radius of you it will show the amount of teams that are in that range and this is super helpful when you're pushing into a zone and it allows you to roughly scout out a zone without actually being in drone range 
Now, one thing to keep in mind that when you are pulling out your drone and recalling your drone, it does take a couple seconds. So when you are pulling out your drone, you have a couple seconds before you're actually in your drone POV to move around while the drone animation is happening. Use these couple seconds to either get behind cover or crouch into a corner or tell your teammate, hey, I'm about to go drone. Can you cover me real quick while I'm in my drone? Also, when you are recalling your drone, in some situations, it is better to stay inside your drone because when you're inside your drone recalling, you can still move your drone around the, that couple seconds that it takes for it to recall. When you're not in your drone and you press your recall button, it's completely still and easy to shoot at. But like I said, if you are inside of your drone while it's recalling, you can move it around, making it harder to shoot at and giving you a higher chance of actually getting that recall off. Now, lastly, with the drone, you can use it actually for more than just scouting ahead of you. When you're going into a choke or a place where you know there's fighting, and especially places like a vault room, um, you can leave the drone idle, hidden away in a choke or a crevice, um, somewhere where it's kind of hard to see, to watch your back, and you can get some sort of heads up to when people are trying to flank you or they try to third party. Even if it's on the ground behind a small rock, you'll still get a notification or they'll shoot it and that will give you some scouting info knowing where they are because they destroyed your drone. So that is all the ways to use Crypto's drone. Let's get into Crypto's ultimate and the best ways to use that and the different ways to engage with Crypto's ultimate. So Crypto's ultimate is kind of really hard to get value out of. If you're playing in high ranked games or you're playing against uh, usually a good team, they know about the dropping your armor in order to counter, counter Crypto all. And by the way, if you don't know, if you drop your armor right before the ultimate, the crypto ultimate goes off, it will not damage your armor. And you can simply pick it right back up after that and you are good to go. Now there's not many ways to counter your enemies dropping their armor. The best way to counter it is to try to um, alt your enemies when they're in a situation where they don't have time to drop their armor, either um, alting a third party. So if you were to third party a team, alting the two teams fighting where they're in the middle of a gunfight so they can't drop their armor, that's one way to do it. Um, or starting to shoot at the enemies first and then alting because obviously if the enemies are in the middle of a gunfight, they're not going to drop their armor in the middle of the gunfight. So um, getting that timing of your alt down um, to counter armor drops is definitely super super important but in some situations you're just not going to be able to counter the armor dropping um counter to crypto's ultimate so do your best but just know that not every crypto emp is going to be effective now if you are going to use crypto's ultimate you usually want to use it right before the fight happens you usually don't want to use it in the middle of a fight it's always better to have a third gun for your team than to have a crypto ultimate um, and kind of being in your drone to set off that crypto ultimate going on um, because honestly if you are in the middle of the fight and you use your crypto ultimate most likely your teammates are also going to get stunned by it um, and it's going to leave your teammates in a 2v3 and it, it's just not this best situation to be in you want to time your crypto alt so you do it right before the fight happens and then initiate on that ultimate now there's two ways to do this you can simply fly your drone in press alt and then recall it back or what you can do is which is my favorite way to do it and honestly i find it's a lot more effective is when you find the team that you want to fight you throw your drone in and tuck it away into a corner or a spot where the team um you know couldn't see your drone um, or tuck it into a spot where you know the an enemy team is going to walk by and then what you can do is get out of your drone and you and your teammates can push up closer to where they get better follow up on your ultimate and then what you can do is actually use your ultimate when you're not in your drone so it's kind of like setting up your drone um, as like a bomb um, and you can just press your ultimate button whenever you want as soon as they come uh, near your drone and your ultimate will go off and you won't be in your drone so you can easily follow up on it with your team now, just some basic stuff and some refreshers for those who might not know obviously crypto's ultimate does destroy traps it also goes through walls so you don't have to worry about that it also does stun your teammates but it does not damage them but it will damage and stun you the crypto player so just keep that in mind so that is the best way to use crypto's ultimate now let's go into kind of my overall thoughts on crypto and his current state in the meta
Now, overall, when Crypto first came out, everyone thought he was going to be an amazing ranked character. And you know what? I did too. But the one thing that really makes him uh, not as good as everyone thought is how weak his abilities are. Like I said earlier with the armor dropping, it's way too easy to counter his alt. You have a solid like three seconds to go into your inventory, drop your armor, um, and then wait for the alt to go off and simply pick it back up again. It's the easiest counter ever. And the enemies can't push you while you're dropping that armor because they don't want to be in the drone radius and get stunned. Um, so they usually wait until after the, the EMP goes off and then they push in anyways. So so most likely, um, if you are a crypto and you are EMPing a team, like I said, if they're not in the middle of a fight, they're just going to drop their armors and you're also going to be basically useless. Another thing that makes Crypto kind of weak is that his drone is really easy to shoot down and insanely easy to see. A couple ideas I had is to make his drone transparent, kind of like Mirage before he went fully invisible. Um, while the drone is standing still and then once it's moving it's easy to see again but while the drone's standing still um, so this can kind of make it so you can set it up for a fight to kind of get some better recon on, on the enemy um, while it's standing still it is transparent and then with the ultimate in order to counter armor dropping simply make it so it also damages shields on the ground so it will damage um, all shields in the area whether it's on a person or on the ground for 50 damage but other than that crypto can still be used in ranked his drone is still good for recon Either way, even though it is easy to shoot down, you just have to be very careful because if you don't have um, your drone and it does get shot down, it has a very long cooldown. And if you have your, you can't use your ultimate without the drone. So you do have to be careful of that. Overall, I would say he's kind of a mid tier legend for ranked and just kind of apex legend in general. Um, so he's not the worst legend, but he's also not the best legend um, in the meta right now. But yeah, guys, that is the video. Let me know what you thought about this crypto guide. Let me know if you if it helped you out. Like I said, I did get some help from my friend, The Kind. I'll leave his Twitch link down in the description below, along with my Twitch link if you want to come check me out on Twitch. We both play ranked at very high levels, so if you are looking to learn and watch some high-level gameplay, you can check us both out in the links in the description. But other than that, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like because it helps the video get seen um, i spend a lot of times on the on these videos so i do really appreciate it and if you're new here make sure to subscribe because we make apex legends videos weekly i am trying to do two to three guides a week right now um, so definitely look forward to more guides in the future but other than that guys this has been quake v thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you guys in the next one